So we're here with the little date night with little Ben Ben. Can you say hi, Ben? Hi. <laughs> and look, they, uh, it's a totally different Walmart. And sure enough, they've even got the character packs set out already. So we're going to get some of those. But they've got several Mario sets out over a week early. Like to see that. Hey, welcome back to JR Brick Builders. And my name is Sam. Jeffrey and Rocky are not with me right now. They're in bed. But uh, I thought it'd be kind of fun to get into maybe a little bit of late night Lego Super Mario. And um, I know Lego Super Mario is not supposed to officially release for like another week, but our local stores, none of them seem to really care about that. So they have, I think pretty much all, set out the Lego Mario sets and said, had at them, uh, have at them. And so I, of course, was happy to oblige in that, as you can tell. So we're starting to get stocked up on our Lego Mario. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, we just picked up a few of the blind bags. And so I thought tonight we would get into those and see what we get. I didn't feel these out at all. To be honest with you, I'm not sure if you could. With many figures, it's not that difficult to feel out blind bags and figure out exactly which one is in which bag. When the Harry Potter collectible minifigure series came out, that's exactly what I did. Um, I didn't care if somebody saw me standing in there feeling around the bags. So I felt them all out. It wasn't that difficult. I mean, you get a duplicate every once in a great while, but not that often. In the case of these, because they're not minifigures, they're they're all bricks. I mean, they're buildable figures. So maybe, you know, like the shells, maybe you could feel those out. I don't know. But I figured it's so unlikely that you'd be able to feel these ones out that I just didn't even bother. So I have no idea what's in these three bags. We're going to open them up and then we're going to take our Super Mario and we're going to use him to stomp on them and see, you know, if there are different reactions for different types of characters and uh, we'll get to, to find out if that's what those are. And maybe you get different amounts of coins based on the characters. I have no idea. So we're gonna find out together and we'll just start uh, with, well, start with the one in the middle here. How about that? So we'll slide these off to the side and we'll get this all opened up. I'm kind of a one man operation tonight without the boys help. So I'll have to, I'm trying to do this one handed. That should be good enough. We should be able to tear that from there. We'll see what we get here. Okay, not so easy. I had to go ahead and, and put the phone down and use scissors. Uh, these are all sealed, just so you know. I am really opening them, but it's really hard to do when you don't have a tripod with you and there's no one to hold the camera. So let's see what we got. Oh, nice. We got the ghost, the boo. That is, that's fun. That, that's good because we'll have that one and we'll be able to use him with our Bowser's castle set. So that will be a lot of fun. All right, let's uh, go ahead and put it together. And as you can see, they all come with some sort of little extra, you know, base to put them on. So when you go to add them to one of your sets, um, you don't have to find space in one of them. You can just add this extra base that comes with it. So this one will go very, very well with Bowser's, Bowser's castle. So looking forward to that. Looks like we get a decent amount of bricks, some custom printed things here too. And as is the case with all of the starter sets and with these, you do not have to apply that sticker. Actually, I'm trying to figure out if it even is a sticker. Yeah, it's a sticker. You can kind of see the edge there. You don't have to apply these stickers. They come pre-applied, which is nice. And this is printed. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to actually get their names right. I always mess up names in these videos, I'm realizing. So his name is Peepa, okay? That's the actual name for him. I did not know that. <laughs> and there he is, all built up. You get Peepa and you get this little lava spill section that's gonna go great in Bowser's castle. And his little round uh, tag on the back. We're gonna take him off and see. Uh, we'll power up Mario here. And we'll see what happens when you stomp on him. Uh-oh. 
That's awesome if you step on him, he gets scared. Nice. So there are very different animations that come with each of these enemies. Nice. Okay, so you don't get any coins, unfortunately, but you do get uh, a neat little animation that comes along with him. So, all right, let's slide Mario over here. We'll power him off for now. See you later. See you later. And we'll slide this guy off to the side. And we will open up the next one. We'll just go ahead and go with this one. Like I said, I'll have to cut it off camera, but I won't peek, I promise. Okay, as promised, I did not peek. Cut across the top. And see what we got in bag number two. Did we get the same one? I think we might have just got this. We just, <laughs> uh, it took us two bags, two whole bags to get a duplicate. And that's what we've got, two peepas. Okay, we will slide that off to the side then. We will build up the second peepa in a moment. It's okay, I, I don't mind having duplicates because you get extra, you know, bosses in the thing. Although you don't get any coins for these ones, but eh, who cares? Okay, could we possibly go three for three? Could they all three be the same one? Let's find out. I'm really hoping not. Okay, moment of truth. Just cut the top. Did I cut all the way through? Yes. And I haven't peeked yet. We have Peepa. Peepa number two. Is this Peepa number three? Nope, nope. Whew. I don't know what it is yet, but I know it isn't the same, and I'll take that. Oh, whoa, dropping some. Um. Which one is this? Is this? The, oh, this is the bomb. Oh, nice. Okay, this I think is Bullet Bill. I'm happy about that. I wanted that one. That's good. So, Bullet Bill, I believe, is who we have. Yes. Awesome. Okay, let's put Bullet Bill together. All right, here's Bullet Bill all built up, and he is really nice. I love this cactus that you get just for, you know, decorating the spot where you're going to put him. But there is Bullet Bill, and I've been killed by many, many Bullet Bills in my Mario playing days because they never seem to be predictable. It's like all of a sudden you're just not expecting, you're just going along, and then one of those comes flying by. <laughs> so very cool build there. Printed eye piece, by the way. All right, let's turn on Mario. And let's see if Mario has any kind of special reaction to Bullet Bill. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Oh, it's just... Okay, it's a regular jump and coin. You don't get blown up or anything, which is good. Um, and there's the second Peeper Tom or whatever that was called. Peepa. <laughs> there's the second Peepa. So we got two of those and we got our bullet bill to add to our Koopa that we already had from the starter course and our baby Bowser that we already had from the starter course. So we're starting to get some things here for Mario to beat, but just don't get the, the ghost because that does something weird to him. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for watching this video, and we will have an upcoming video for some more Lego Mario sets. Bowser's Castle is on the way. We're really excited about that one, and I'm sure we'll be doing even more of these um, blind bags, especially since we got three, and the first two were duplicates instantly. What a bummer. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and click that bell notification thing if you uh, wanna see more Lego Super Mario sets before their release day because these are all over a week early.